Hello everyone, I am Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest compacts video where I show the best fully upgraded compact cars in terms of top speed. For all the information you need about this series, check the original compacts video, but otherwise let's see where the new Weevo and Brioso 300 fall into that list. And as we saw from the lap time testing video, the Brioso 300 is the new slowest vehicle in the compacts class, even slower than the Dilettante by around 2 miles per hour with a top speed of only 86 miles per hour. It is very slow, the Brioso 300. It's a good little bit of fun, of course, but yeah, it, it's really not that quick, and it? it takes the crown from the Dilettante as the slowest vehicle in the compact class, not only for lap time, but also top speed as well. We're going to take, obviously, another jump from the Dilettante to our uh, section surrounding the Weevil, and if you want to see all the vehicles from the Compact class and where they fall, just check out the 2020 Compact Top Speed video. But uh, it's not as big of a jump as what we saw from the lap time testing video, because we go up to the Panto in ninth place with a top speed of 100.3, and then we've got the Weevil in 8th place, just between the Panto and the Raptidy. It actually shares exactly the same top speed as the Raptidy of 102.3 miles per hour, which is pretty standard for compacts. Apart from the top few recent compacts that have kind of gone a little bit above and beyond, 102, uh, 100 to 104 miles per hour, I would say, is a pretty standard range for the majority of compact cars, so it's not unusual to see it there. Uh, obviously it gets the Rhapsody gets the seventh place over the Weevil even though they share the same top speed because the Rhapsody has a better lap time. But obviously when we see the comparison between the club and the Weevil that's over a 10 mile per hour difference and yeah there's no other vehicle that you need if you ever do a compact race than the club. The Weevil it can be a little bit of fun, the Briosa can be a little bit of fun but you're never going to want to use them in a race when uh, when you've got you know, the club available to pick. So as my voice already leaves me just after two very quick videos today, I'll, I'll leave it there. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, hopefully this has been a help and let you know obviously where these two new compact cars are. And it's nice to get them both done in one video as well. So that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.